What is up, y'all? I'm back with another video. Now, today I'm going to show y'all what I brought with me in my camera bag uh, here to Florida so I can get all my content with, right? Now, I told y'all prior to this video that I was going to shoot a sunrise time lapse to put in front of this video, but I got to be straight up with y'all. I'm human. I can't. I have not been able to get up at 5.43 in the morning uh, to set my camera up, man. I just have not been able to do it. So I said, you know what? If I do get it at some point before we leave here, I will make sure I post it, whether that be uh, on Twitter or just dropping it in some random video I'll try, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, today it's raining. Uh, we got a day off because my son's team is uh, two and two. They are two and two in the World Series right now, which gave them today off, which is which was much needed because it's been very, very hot. So today they get a rest day and then they pick it right back up tomorrow. Now, I'm going to show you all what I got in my camera bag. But before I do that, I want to show you guys what it looked like out here right now, what it looks like out here right now, because it is raining and man is looking muggy. But I'm going to show you all. Hold up and show you what we got going on out here, man. Look at this. This is what it's looking like out here today. Look at that. Let me take this tracking off right quick. There we go. That's what it's looking like out here today. It's wet and rainy and cloudy. I mean, this is what it's looking like. So this is what we're working with on a, on a random day here in Florida. Uh, the tournament is still going on. There's games still going on. But again, my son and his team, they are two and two, so they got a chance to be off today. So much needed, much needed. So we're gonna be chilling today. I want to show y'all what it's looking like out here right now. This is what it's looking like. Let's get to this bag. All right, y'all, so first and foremost, man, before we get started, y'all gonna have to excuse the lighting. I totally did not bring any lights with me because I didn't think I would need them. But let me tell you right now, I am 100% starting to really Understand that when you go anywhere and you bring any of your camera equipment You might need to bring some small little tube light or something just to get some good lighting because as you can see this lighting is not the best All right, and this is all that I can get in this area to shine over here So this is what we got all right, but anyway, let's go ahead and jump in now before we open this uh, bag um, I just want to let you know that I'm currently using a few of the uh, items that would be in this bag So right now we're on the KNF concept tripod right here we're on the 10 to 18 that would be in here as well. We're on the Canon 90D, which would be in here. We're on the Rode mic as well. And I actually have the camera neck strap still uh, attached to the camera as well. So all of that stuff would technically be in here. As far as bag, you guys have seen this bag before. This is the uh, bag, smart bag right here. Uh, I got a video on the channel just in case you want to go back and take a look at it. Uh, but this is that same exact bag. I haven't had a need to upgrade or change or do anything like that because this bag has been 100% working for me. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in. Right here, we'll go ahead and get to the meat and potatoes, which is right in here. We'll go ahead and dive straight in. So um, right here in this little pouch, as you can see, I know this camera angle is pretty weird. So I'm gonna have to kind of keep adjusting this thing a little bit. But in this camera pouch right here, let's turn this this way. In this camera pouch uh, right here, you have just a, you just got a USB-C charger right here. We have a little cleaning cloth. Right here, we got some solution for the lenses. We got two wireless mics, where the wireless mics uh, by Mayono right there. And then we got a mount right here for my monitor. I right, got a mount for the monitor right there. So that's everything that's in that little bag with that little pouch right there. Moving down in the inside, right here in this little area right here. I got my Crucial uh, USB-C uh, drive right here, SSD. Then I got a USB-C hub right here, as you can see. So we got both of those. We need these. And then I also have uh, my ND filter. One ND filter, and this one is for the 24 uh, to 105. So we got the ND filter right there as well. So that's what's in that pouch right there. And I'm kind of speeding through this because I got to go to Smoothie King. So I'm trying to get through it. Next, we got the newer uh, DP LPE6. This is the uh, charger with the power bank, SD card, all that good stuff. We got that right here. We got two batteries in here, and one is inside the Canon ID. And I do have a little memory card, extra memory card. Oh, actually I'm missing that little chip in here, but I got a memory card in here. And I actually just took this SD card out of here and I used it for my son's Nintendo Switch. So I'm delinquent in that aspect, but hey, it is what it is. But we got that there. Right here, as far as lenses, we got the 24 uh, to 105 right here. As you can see, 24 to 105, like this lens, really nice lens, very, very heavy. I took this to the field the other day and I switched up because this thing is kind of heavy. So I switched out of this lens and went back to the 75 to 300. Uh, but this lens is pretty heavy. But we got that lens in there as well. Uh, right here, we have 
one of my newest uh, lenses that I'm gonna be talking about here at some point. But this is the 18 to 135. Yep, I finally got one of these lenses right here. I decided to go ahead and pull the trigger. Got it for a real uh, inexpensive price. Does have a little defect, but the defect does not uh, affect the actual lens. But we'll talk a little bit more about this lens in another video. But we got the 18 to 135 right here by Canon. Then we have the 75 to 300 right here as well. As you can see, 75 to 300. And this one's by Canon as well. I left the Sigma 18 to 35 at the house because I didn't feel like I needed that. And in this space right here is where the camera would actually go with the lens on it. So that's why you don't see nothing there. Go ahead and close this off right here. Make sure I ain't got nothing in this little pocket there. Now, uh, as far as uh, up here at the top, oh, I'm sorry, I, I didn't even talk about the tripod. We brought the MT33 as well, I forgot about that. We brought the MT33 uh, by Ulanzi, we brought this, because again, as you probably noticed, you don't see the Sony ZV-1 in here. I said I was gonna leave the ZV-1 at home and let the Canon 90 d with the 1018 do everything I needed need to do uh, in regards to vlogging. Uh, and if I did need to throw, out, to throw the iPhone out, or pull the iPhone out, I can throw it on here if I just really needed to, but I have been using the Canon 90 d for a lot of things, so. We do got that uh, MT33. All right, then up here in the top, right here. Let's go ahead and dive in this place here. I did bring those five fine speakers like I said I was. I had to bring these because I like these. Uh, they sound really good and I had to bring them um, with me because again, you already know what I brought with me with this, which you'll see here in a hot second. But we got those. Uh, and then down here in this little zipper here, I brought the monitor, my field work monitor. Uh, and the mount. That's what I got in here. Real simple, nothing over the top. And then for the last thing that we brought, which is right here in the back, you guys probably already know, it goes with me everywhere. So let me unzip this. We got the, we got the actual iPad. So y'all know the iPad goes with me everywhere, but here's my iPad. I'm still rocking the iPad Air 4. As you can see right here with the Shasona keyboard, but I'm still rocking this joint, uh, this keyboard, and it's been working for me for a long time. And I have no intentions or, or I don't feel like I need to switch this out, um, but it's been working for me for a long time. iPad Air 4, pair that up with the 5.5 speakers, and I'm good to go. I can edit. I can get every single thing I need to get done done on there. And my pen should be right there. Got the pen as well. So, you know, if I just need to go ahead and get the editing done, I can go ahead and jump on the iPad, plug in the five fine speakers, and I can be good to go from there. You see what I'm saying? So anyway, guys, I know this video, uh, the lighting was not that great. Um, and I know this was kind of all over the place, but I wanted to show you guys what I brought with me. I did not bring the Sony ZV-1, guys. You should be proud of me. I didn't bring the Sony ZV-1. Even though that's my favorite little vlogging camera, I said, you know what? I only want to strip down to one camera that can do every single thing I needed to do regarding vlogging, uh, regarding uh, if I need wide angle shots, uh, if I need some sports photography shots and I know for a fact the Canon 90D can make that happen for me. So I said, you know what? Let's just kick this Canon 90D out with every single thing that we're gonna need to get every single thing done with one camera. And that's why the Canon 90D is the only camera that I brought with me. So with that guys, hopefully this video has been helpful to you in some way. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's been your man Jay and I'm gonna get up out of here. Peace.